I'm doing a few battery tab spot weld tests of 0.21 millimeter thick nickel strip. This is about the limit of what my half built, well one tenth built, capacitor discharge welder will do. So I won't be trying anything thicker till I get the welder finished. The energy values I give are the estimated energy delivered to the tip holders. Hopefully it's close to the correct values. I'm using 1 16th inch diameter Glidcop tips at a center to center distance of 0.17 inches and for the most of the test a tip pressure of 8 pounds. Here we are at a little over 50 joules. Now 50 joules on a nickel strip just 0.06 millimeters thinner left two small nuggets that had to be removed with pliers. I can just pull this nickel strip off by hand. Now going to 75 joules, it starts to look a lot better. I cannot pull the strip off by hand, at least not by hand without the risk of slicing a finger. There is a small weld nugget at one tip, and there is a tiny burr on the nickel strip at the other tip, which accounts for why I could not pull it off by hand. It takes close to 120 joules to get two very small nuggets. It takes a good bit of force to remove the nickel strip, but I would not trust this for a high current connection. At 170 joules, I get a good weld. Quite a bit of tip stick, which is a problem but a good strong weld with two very good nuggets. I see I'm really going to have to increase the size of my welder if I want to be able to weld the thicker battery tab terminals. Just shy of 210 joules is a little too much. I'm starting to get a bit of nickel melt and I'm losing quite a bit of tip as well. I'm starting to think the 1 16th inch diameter tips may top out around 200 joules. Once I get the welder finished so I can deliver 200 plus joules at a lower voltage, I think I'll have a better idea of what these tips can handle. The strip is noticeably easier to pull off than the previous one. And while the nuggets are big, the metal is weaker around the welds. I want to test if the tip pressure would have any effect on the tip sticking or is it just too much energy for the size of the tip. So here I took the pressure down to 5 pounds. Still some stick and a little bit of metal splatter. The weld nuggets are not quite as good as the 8 pound test but still a good strong weld. Now when I move up to 12 pounds, I was a little surprised. Here there is no tip stick at all and very little of the tip material left on the nickel strip. It's a good strong weld and leaves two very nice nuggets. Kinda just the opposite of what I expected. The list of changes I'm going to have to make to my motorized weld head is getting pretty long. Increasing its maximum pressure from the current 15 pounds is going to be a big one. Here is the waveform showing the 18 volt 10 millisecond weld pulse. There is 24 inches of 1 aught gauge copper wire between the green and red traces. And the tip assembly is the red and blue traces. There is a lot of current flowing for those few milliseconds. Thank you for watching.